Margaret, che cosa hai Margaret, how did you feel when you heard that you'd been personally invited by Pope Francis to attend the Synod? My first reaction was one of great surprise, because I wasn't expecting this invitation. The second reaction was a great fear of God, because I also knew what a big responsibility it is to represent the Foklari movement at the Synod. But at the same time, I felt a great joy, because I thought that I would be there Not so much because I have something to give, but because I want to be part of this living church. And I remembered the meeting with Pope Francis when we met with him after our General Assembly, that my first words to him were, I want to be a daughter of the church to be at the service of the church. So when I received this invitation, that's what came to my heart. This is my opportunity to be even more at the service of the church. What advice would you give to the whole work of Mary so as to live well this special moment of the church, this synod? I've been preparing in these days for the Synod, thinking a lot about it. What struck me the most was to think that to describe a Synodal Church there are three words, communion, participation and mission. And suddenly something came to my mind and I said, if at the basis of communion, participation and mission there is not charity, then we cannot journey together. I thought of the first Christian community in Jerusalem. They lived communion, both spiritual and material communion. They experienced participation in the life of the community, of the first Christian community, and they lived mission because they also went out to proclaim the kingdom of God, to proclaim Jesus. So that's what came to my mind, that the basis of everything has to be charity, mutual love among everyone, so that the synod can have its desired outcome and produce the fruits it should. Another thing that came to my mind was the episode of the disciples on the way to Emmaus, I thought. They're really a symbol of this journey. What struck me as I was preparing to attend the synod was this thought. May our eyes not be prevented from recognizing Jesus. So it's this grace that I ask for myself, for the whole Foklari movement in the world, but also for all those of us who are participating in the Synod, that our eyes may not be prevented from recognizing that Jesus is walking with us in our midst and that we should be open to whatever the Holy Spirit will tell us and where he will lead us. So I'm going with this spirit, and I count on everyone's prayers, as I wrote in the letter I sent to all the members of the movement. And I take this opportunity to thank all of you, because I've received so many messages with assurances of prayer, of offerings, of great participation in this event. So I go with all of you, with everyone, all the members of the work of Mary throughout the world.